Hey guys, what's up? Pase Butter here. We are now on this May 13, 2022 NBA game day. We got two uh, games uh, to discuss today. Um, the first one will be the Eastern Conference matchup between Boston Celtics and Milwaukee Bucks. That's number one. Sorry, that's number two versus number three in the Eastern Conference. That'll be 7:30 uh, p.m. Eastern time. So that's going to be 7:30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Okay, now we're going back to Milwaukee Bucks. And you know what? Milwaukee Bucks actually got the lead now, three games to two. Milwaukee Bucks got the home court advantage, and not only that, um, approaching this game, they have the momentum and they have the confidence because they just beat Boston Celtics in front of their crowd inside their home court and it was even an epic comeback. So yeah, um, it seems like everything is actually pointing towards Milwaukee's direction in this, you know, in this case. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, injury list. Hold on. For Boston Celtics, uh, Hauser is out. Um, for Robert Williams, he is listed as day-to-day -day, um, or game-time decision, but uh, highly likely he would still be playing. Um, for Milwaukee Bucks, um, Chris Middleton um, seems like he would still be out for this game. Um, he's still listed um, out for this, and I don't, I haven't read any or I haven't seen any um, news or any article saying that Middleton uh, would be available on this game number six and if I were the coaching staff I'm gonna I'm gonna rest him up you know they got the lead anyway at 3-2 right and I'm looking at the spread well it opened up with Milwaukee Bucks having the uh, having the minus at minus 1.5 and as we speak it remains that way minus 1.5 what a game that was huh game number five um, honestly I thought Boston had it um, the lead went down to three and I was like Milwaukee Bucks you know they really are you know not giving up and it was tied up and I was like oh man Milwaukee Bucks they really are the champions you know uh, it's gonna they're, they're gonna make it hard for Boston Celtics <laughs> and there you are Milwaukee Bucks really taking it home all the way so um, Milwaukee Bucks you know it's, it's just crazy man um, Boston Celtics they are a very good team but Milwaukee Bucks really showing uh, Boston Celtics and the entire NBA that uh, they were the champions and they are the defending champions this season. And if you really want to beat them, like beat them in a series, it's not and it's never going to be easy. Man, um, for this game number six, as I mentioned earlier, everything's pointing towards Milwaukee Bucks' direction. They are at home. Uh, they have the confidence. They have the momentum. Man, they just defeated Boston Celtics inside uh, their home court, and they went. Uh, you know, they went from behind. They they came from behind. I thought it was already a one game for Boston Celtics, but again, Milwaukee Bucks took it home. So I'm pretty sure that you know Milwaukee. If if Milwaukee can actually do it right there, if if you're a Milwaukee Buck, that's how, you know that's how your thinking would be. If we can actually beat Boston Celtics in front of their or in front of their people inside their arena, then man, we can actually do it right here, and let's do it right here for Chris Middleton and for you know for the entire team so that they can get more rest. Of course, it's not going to be easy. If you actually watched game number five, Boston Celtics they were actually playing well. Um, it's just that towards the end of the game, Milwaukee Bucks really again. Uh, display the heart of a champion. If you take a look at the uh, at the numbers, um, Boston Celtics they were kind of uh, they were actually um, they were actually leading uh, against Milwaukee Bucks in almost all of the numbers, almost, right, almost. But what really hurt them a lot was uh, the rebounding. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks dominated the rebounds. It's like uh, they defeated Boston Celtics by double digits in terms of rebounds, and that hurt Boston Celtics a lot.
Now, if Boston Celtics would really not have any answer to that, because man, we have to we have to admit Milwaukee Bucks is a you know it's a huge team. They got Yanis, they got Portis, they got Lopez. Their guards are actually big, so um, they are a very good um, rebounding team. I'm not saying that Boston ain't, but uh, Milwaukee Bucks is really bigger. So I, I really think Milwaukee Bucks would actually go for the kill right now. And with the spread of minus 1.5, it's not that big. Um, man, Boston Celtics, they had a, you know, they had a very good season. Um, it was a complete turnaround because they had a very poor start in the season. But here, here they are in the second round. Man, but I really feel like Milwaukee Bucks would actually uh, go for the kill in game number six. They are at home, and I'm pretty sure that they do understand that if they would actually give a Boston Celtics another chance in game number seven, they might be in trouble. So uh, they would, they should actually treat this one as a do or die battle as well. My pick on this one would be Milwaukee Bucks minus one point five. Bucks minus one point five. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.